somehow. Oh, they're going to try and push in. Aframu's going to take a cocoon. Actually gets taken very low here. Could be enough. Will they repel straight for it? Doesn't matter. It will be first blood. It went to Vanda. Not ideal, but it's good enough. Science Spartan chasing, overheating actually. Now think God's caught out wall. He can Valkyrie flash across actually. Valkyrie is still available if he wants to get away. Is it up though? Has he got the mana to try and do this one? This could go very well for COG. They're going to try and kite the damage. Think God's taking low. He gets dropped. The teleport comes in. Still Science Spartan gets himself one. But look at that overpower. Hop skips and a jump straight. And in Rio joins the party, and it's a three for one to Rocky. Because uh, Ryu, he roamed top, that means that Link was able to push up the mid wave. Whoa, shockwave, that's not to Walleye, but actually there's no damage. After we take it, that's how it's... But they're going to run headlong. Tribush is going to catch around. Afrimu almost certainly will go down here. Question is, will they dive double lift? Is it going to be enough? Equalizer from Afrimu, uh, so from... Hey, yesterday. That's not going to quite work out for you, Afrimu, buddy. Vanda's gonna face check. Oh, <laughs> leads it with the Howling Gale. Think Car caught out. They're in a 3v3. Is it gonna be enough? Wallite -like focuses on double lift. And as we talked about the power spike, he's got that Triforce complete. Double lift only got a single uh, build water cut list. They're gonna jump straight on him. Double lift tries to run away. Rio cleans up on the back. What a surprise. In comes the Korean. And he gets himself on towards Link now. Link taken low. Shockwave catches three, but it's. Baron picked up, straight in towards it, DFG goes down, double lift just gets annihilated. Can he pounce over the ledge? Instead, they're going to come in and make sure they secure it. Oh, Finkar just got melted, trying to get close to it. Double lift's going to get caught out. Shockwave pulls him away, saves him from now, quickly gets exhausted as Vanda closes the gap. Rock out again, picked off here though, there is the dragon going down. Oh, look at that, Walleye just... The, oh my god, it's if I actually find the top, he's gonna hit the counter strike, he has no flash. So all thing Hart has to do, he doesn't have to do his EQ, just walks up to him, hits the slow, free, free oh, combo. They're gonna have to tower dive, this is gonna have to go deep, but it's gonna get picked up, and it's Zion Spartan again. Flash available, here we go, here we go. Path here jump down. coming in, Gangplank ultimate on top, lay it in there, double if gets caught out, Afrimu can get caught, no flash available, it's a quick, easy double for Rocket. On the wheel, he makes Whoa, the moves. Wow, the, there we go, that's the punishment. The wave comes through, Wallet finishes him, doesn't even get a chance to jump. Yankos just walks into his death, but good follow up from CLG, they crafts the and they uh, three one for one. Whoa, Rockat, Ryu going straight in there. Oh, the Ignite's got him. Boom, dead. Link, nicely played. The map from Rocket will win that fight. So well, maybe CLG has a position. They're going to use the oranges. Is it going to be enough to help him get away? I don't think so. Pops the ultimate down, flashes through. Good Howling Gale from our Fruma will slow him down and overpower. The overpower is going to flank around the side. Is it enough though? This is Risky Play. He's going to come in and quickly gets exhausted. The rest of his team were not on the same page. And he has to back away. Link instead will get himself a second kill. Link taking low himself. He goes in there. Will he have enough to burst it down? Not even going to get close. The wave goes out. They shouldn't be going for this one. Zion Spine just jumps in out of... Warlight, Warlight, Warlight. Oh, Ward goes dead. down just in time to see him going dead. Now, Yankos, can he get away from this one? Flag and Drag's going to be back up inside. Yankos gets locked up and he will go down as well. Now, facing up against the Baron team. Is this something they should be going for? Not really sure. Ryu took some damage. Double up goes for it and gets it. He gets straight up towards him. Yankos is going to get pinned off here. Let's see. Keeps sticking his nose out too far, but that's enough to chunk down the tower. Zion gets the damage down the wave used. That'll be the in him to it down. Can they get the kills? Gangplank Ultimate will go in the back, but does no damage. It's just simply trying to corral them into one close point. Is it enough? Warlight on towards double lift. Link quickly goes in, locks on towards him. Zonius gets countered straight away. Yankos doing little to no damage there. Warlight focused, gets himself one kill, but double lift gets himself two. On towards Ryu. Ryu not going to get away. That's the triple. Comes around. Can he get the quadra? He will. And that's beautifully done by double lift. I'm not sure how this guy is even going to go down. Oh, instead he's just going to turn around. Oh, he's going straight around towards him. Overpower's taking a lot of damage, so going to have to jump away. Good flash! In the third, Wallet's coming though, but yeah, they get a gang coming. Link's coming in, he's gonna come around the side, Wallet in trouble, has to use the Howling Gale, but double it. got there rather than just, just coming in and then getting the bounce. Yeah, yeah. Well, Ryu, very much low on mana, locked up by Link. He should have enough for the cooldowns, the blue buff on him, should take him down the kill. There it is. 
damage on that tower. See if Koki can clear it, but Link, Whoa. many people are doubting him, but he's playing really well. He is, but Overpower is trying to keep up. What was he thinking? That play slightly outnumbered, but his team would collapse quicker than CLG. Oh, and they got oh, two kills. He's going to go for it. Finds Manda. Leash is dead. I don't think that's going to help. And the quick. Uh, if you go anywhere near the Baron Wall, you just oh, always hop over. kill the Echoes here. What? I, I'm not just sure what he thought he could do there, but that's going to be a Baron. Yeah, that's Baron for sure now. Unless uh, Ryu can somehow scale this. Uh -huh. He's going to try and come around. Dominic taking low. Oh, oh gets out of the shockwave with the Knight's Caliber Nets on his hourglass. No, <laughs> Dominic just picks himself up. One, two, three. Thank you very much. I'll take a Baron. Waiting, Vanda found. Is he going to go down? No question about that. We are seeing CLG on oh, the hook landing. Woolite down. Boom, Shockwave lands, but it's just not going to get followed up because the AD carry has been ripped apart. CLG looking solid now. They could surely taste victory now. The hook onto Overpower. Now he is a Mega Nar, but he can't take through five members of CLG. As finally Double F takes down the big beastie. The inhib will fall, and surely the Nexus will follow. I think we made Afro more angry, angry with game one, you know. Got this cow 0 4, and then he got really angry and he just lands all these hooks one by one by one by one. And look, that's a Nexus just. Nexus turret goes down, the game will go CLG's way as they move into the final, taking down Rocket. Some said they were the number one favorites for this tournament. Double lift, he has other ideas. Can he pick up his first victory for CLG here at the Intel Extreme Masters? He's in the final. Who's going to join them? We'll find out the next best of three. It's coming up straight after this.